guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we have another kind of virtual shopping today i'm going to be talking about a couple new items i mean most of them are new but some of them have been out for about a month already but you know not all of us have time to be constantly checking the website so hopefully there's at least three things that you weren't aware of that were out and i'm going to be giving my opinion on some of the things of what i think so if you guys are interested then just keep watching Alrighty, so the first brand we're going to be talking about is, of course, Dior. And as always, you guys know, I adore their book totes. So they do have a couple new designs right now. So this color scheme of this book tote, I absolutely adore. I feel like for me, this is giving summer vibes, but just the animals alone, like the fact that there's an elephant, they normally always have like a lion and a tiger. I think there's a jaguar over here, but this elephant is just really doing it for me. I love that the color scheme is the backdrop is white and then you have these like beautiful blues and greens. I just really love that the elephant is blue. I love that. And then the tan right here, I actually really like. I think it accents with it really well. The only thing that would make me nervous if you guys have done research in buying a book tote before, it does happen where if the base of the book tote is white or very, very light colored, not even tan, but a very, very light cream color, but in general white, it does tend apparently to stain on the inside. It's either like the glue or something holding it together so that is something to be wary of but i love the color scheme of this if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that i want to add more book totes that's easily the one bag for sure that eventually in my lifetime i'm planning on having like five or six and i don't care what anyone says this one is really cute too they used to have this like hazelnut and brown one from the last collection but this is their newest one this one obviously has the elephant and the tiger as well i feel like this is a more neutral version of the one that i just saw it's just so crazy that this medium size is 33.50 obviously it has more embroidery than a typical oblique but 33.50 so i got my book tote for i believe like 26.50 this was in the very beginning of 2020 right before the pandemic hit and now it's easily like 700 dollars more expensive but it's really cute and i feel like the black and this like hazelnut color just matches with everything i really wanted to get this bag in like the small skinny vertical one okay so of course they have it in the bigger sizes they have it in black and white as well i feel like these two colors black and white and then the hazelnut and white i mean the hazelnut and black are very very popular and i feel like it'll just go with a lot and then obviously you just have the d lights the d lights for me personally i'm not a huge fan i feel like the only quote-unquote d light that i like is the wicker version of it with the navy blue and the colors okay so this is fairly new it's called the dior key bag i mean hmm i have thoughts so i i don't there's it's not that i dislike it but i don't there's just something about this that i feel like it's giving me seasonal louis vuitton bag vibes and i don't mean like collections i mean you know how louis vuitton pushes out a lot and i mean a lot of just random styles to me it's kind of like a cash grab bag and i mean i've never tried this on you guys know that i could dislike something and then the moment i try it on i'm completely converted i don't know i feel like the shape is very it's giving me vintage vibes the shape of this i don't know if this is like a retro bag so this bag took inspiration from the house archives which i guess is really cool i mean it looks really practical but i'm not a fan i'm not saying that it's ugly it's just i don't know what it is i don't know what it is alrighty so next they have this like bucket bag this hobo-ish style honestly this is giving me honestly chanel 22 vibes is it just me am i the only one that's getting chanel 22 vibes it's like if chanel 22 and the louis vuitton neo no way bag had a baby with dior canage this is the bag that it looks like i mean it's cool that it has the cd hardware right here and i love this color i love dior gray they just do gray very very well and like it even has the chain detailing which is really nice let's just zoom in on it i would love to try this on but wait so and it's sold out of course it's great it's beautiful i like the color alone i love and you guys know i'm so biased i loved your canage print but so this is $3,900 so I feel like this is a good alternative to the Chanel 22 bag it's definitely giving me Chanel 22 vibes except I feel like this probably would be a little bit more 
hard wearing because you guys know a lot of the issues with Chanel 22 people have with just like the top right here whereas this one kind of fixes that by having these little what is it Gr like Chanel grommets you know and I love that it has a little ball detailing right here and I like that it the strap is semi adjustable so I think that's really cute again I definitely want to try this in store but the shape itself is giving me Chanel 22 vibes let me know if any of you guys have tried this bag on they do have this in a couple different colors let's see if it's only the gray that sold out and if the other ones are available see the beige one is there and they have it in different sizes let's see the black because the most popular chanel 22 is the black one of course so my favorite out of the bunch of course is sold out which is the gray one see i mean most people wouldn't carry it like this but you know it's an option to just chuck it over your shoulder and then they have it oh they have it in the smaller size see i feel like the dimensions of the smaller size because it's shorter is kind of giving me like mini flamenco so it's giving me flamenco and chanel 22 vibes all at the same time i mean if i had to choose i'll oh, see the short one is actually really cute too okay i think i like both i think i do like the large one and i do like the short one if i got the short one i would get it in black but the large one for sure gray oh ethereal gray i love a good ethereal gray it's like the lueve ghost gray oh amazing okay so this bag i did try it on if you guys haven't seen my most recent shopping vlog i'll link it somewhere up here you guys can go check it out so i did try this exact bag on actually because i was trying to compare the colors like the white color or the latte color and i mean this bag was really lightweight i i understand the cd logo right here but I don't know, I don't know. I feel like the chains are hit or miss for me with Dior. They have a lot of SLGs or like phone holders where the chain kind of changes. I mean, I like that there's leather on one side and chain on this side. So if you wear it forward or backwards, you kind of have a different aesthetic, which is nice. This looks like it can hold a good amount. It's giving me basically a Dior version of the Ava bag, which is nice, but a little bit smaller and slouchier. So basically, if it's the Ava bag combined with the Prada re-edition to that, 2005 because it has that slouchiness because Ava bags in general aren't slouchy mixed with Dior Canache this is what it would be honestly looking at it like this I actually think this is very very cute especially with the black so I do like this I do like this it is a little bit on the flatter side for me because when I did try it on but I think it's cute price point wise $2,800 let's think the Ava in leather, I believe, is like 2300 And this is obviously Dior, Canage print. Mm, maybe I feel like this is 2500 2800 might be a little steep because with tax, it'd be like $3,000, but it's Dior. They do have this in oblique, of course. I feel like I like this in oblique because it's for people that don't want to fully invest in the Dior saddle and still kind of have... If you guys have seen vintage Dior saddles, the new ones are a lot bigger, thicker. There's a lot more going on. Whereas this is kind of giving me an alternative to like a vintage Dior saddle, which in general is very slim. It just has a zipper. It's very flat. So... If I had to choose, I would pick the oblique one purely because it's giving me that taste of a vintage Dior saddle, but that could just be me. And I know a lot of people are all about quiet luxury right now. I'm not I'm not on that. I respect Quiet Luxury, but I still like my logo moment. Quiet Luxury is not going to make me dislike Louis Vuitton monogram, not in the very least. So this I thought was the most intriguing thing because we all know, oh my gosh, this really quick, oh my gosh, the jacket with this bag, that's like chef's kiss. I need to see Jisoo rocking this entire outfit. But so it's the new Dior club bag and let's just click this one really quick. This totally without a doubt for anyone is giving me a slimmer version of the louis vuitton their new what like the side trunk i believe it's called this is totally giving me the vibes uh but it's thinner whereas if you see the side trunk it is a it's literally like a petite mouth but bigger and softer whereas if you actually look at this it's actually pretty thin and flat but i love this little dip right here it's giving me puzzle bag vibes and i love that it has the chain and you could even see that the chain is removable oh wait i think it's only removable on one side let's zoom in 
Oh wait, I yeah, I think the chain is only removable on one side, but I still think that's super cute. The strap is removable, so you can either wear it with a leather strap and have this as an accessory, or just wear it in the chain strap, which I actually really like, because it kind of reminds me of my Eva clutch, which is why I actually do like this. So when I first saw pictures of this coming out, I was like, oh, this is such a copycat of the Louis Vuitton version. But then when I actually started looking at close-up pictures, I know who has this bag. I think Alana Davidson has this bag as well. She bought it in the leather version and it's a lot thinner. Like this is really just like a little like clutch slash pouch. Yeah, I think it's really cute and it has a little Dior charm too, which is a really, really nice detail i feel so this is what it looks like with just the charm i mean the chain tell me that doesn't look super cute super cute and then obviously they have it in the leather version as well and the strap is adjustable i feel like this would get so dirty especially just constantly on the side of my arm but i really really like this i think this is a very modern fresh take on a lady dior bag like this makes it way more casual and wearable but you still get the canage the strap the charm so i actually really like this for the price point you know not bad considering that a mini lady dior that can barely fit anything is fifty three hundred dollars and this you get like the essence of a lady dior obviously without the handles but thirty two hundred you know I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. Alrighty, so next I'm just going to talk about some random Louis Vuitton items that people have talked about before, but I haven't talked about it. So I'll just like run through a couple items that I really liked. So of course, the star of the show is this Nano Speedy. This is totally giving Tiffany & Co vibes, because especially because of the silver hardware. I feel like the silver accents this cool tone Tiffany teal so well. I actually was able to see this bag in person in Paris, and I didn't try it on but i did see it and i actually love how like shiny it is what is the right word iridescent that's the better word i think it just it's really really cute you guys know that i do want to add a updated nano speedy i have the quote-unquote old version not the vintage version but the old version whereas this is more similar to the speedy hl and i actually like that this in, this entire thing is like monochromatic which is really cool i love the silver hardware on this i just i love and adore it and considering this is all leather i understand especially with just louis vuitton's price increases in general 1900 i would buy it for 1900 i think this is really cute it's just i think i unless there's like another color the main reason why i wasn't even tempted to buy this is because you guys know that i have my chanel medium classic flap with silver hardware and i just feel like even though they're two totally different shades of blue, it's just too similar where if they came out with this in pink with the silver hardware, that would have tempted me more. Alrighty, so the next thing is just this little bandeau because you guys know me, I'm a Twilly fanatic and I thought this was so cute. My favorite thing about this is the fact that this looks like somebody wrote this with a muji like 0.5 or 0.37 pen everything about this like even the fact that the strokes are kind of gone right here how it's faded i actually really 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 like this and i really really want to buy this for myself maybe the next time i go to south coast i'll see if they have this in store yeah i really like this i don't need it but i love that it has the twilly the petite mal the vivienne just everything about this i think it's so cute i don't know what bag i would put this on Maybe my Alma BB because you guys know I love my Alma BB, but I really, really like it. Let me know if any of you guys are buying this bandeau. The also cool thing about Louis Vuitton bandeaus are they're exceptionally longer than other brands. Like they're longer than Dior, they're longer than Hermes Twillies, um, they're longer than Fendi Twillies. So you can do a lot more cool, cute designs, which I think is really, really cool. All right, so the next thing is you guys know I'm not really a costume jewelry gal, but I thought I would just mention these really quick because a lot of you guys are. I actually thought these are really cute. They they were definitely giving me Dior vibes. Dior has their signature ones with like the pearl or the fake pearl, I guess, where it says Dior on it or it says like J'adore Dior on both sides. So I actually thought this was a cute Louis Vuitton version. And my favorite thing is actually the fact that it has the little flower crest right here. That to me makes all the difference. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this didn't age well, if it gets tarnished. But for people that like costume jewelry, I think this would be so cute on like an earring stack. So... Alrighty, so same thing with the Speedy. This was already talked about for a while, but it's really just like the little details, the little LV logo right here, and the fact that the chain is removable. It's like a niece, like a smaller, like a micro niece, essentially, but with leather. 
I mean, this is purely just so cute just to go out this is giving me like the chanel vanity case it's just louis vuitton's version of it and i love that this is in leather i definitely hope that they eventually come out with this in the monogram i feel like a lot of people would buy it again when people are saying that loud luxury is out it everyone loves louis vuitton monogram and even if you hate it there's a bunch of people that love it so we're good we're good they have this in the wisteria color and then they also have this in this i appreciate that they have this in gold and silver hardware but i honestly think that this like purpley pink color would have looked better in the silver hardware personally just because this purple like wisteria color is so icy it's like pink but lilac like a true wisteria flower and i feel like the gold i don't know it warms it up but not in a way that i like i think this would have looked better with silver but just imagine if they came out with a micro vanity in the monogram you know that there would be people that would buy it you know Alrighty, so just one more thing from Louis Vuitton is this card holder. I was so tempted to buy this card holder when I first found out about it. Just like the little LV logo right here, the flat. I just thought this was so cute. And you guys know that I've been needing a flat card holder, but for $445, I mean, it makes sense. This is leather and they're normal, just reverse monogram canvas one. I think it's like 275, maybe 300. I don't remember if they raise their prices, but this reminded me too much of my Dior flat one, the one that I got for the Valentine's Day collection. Because of the charms, it's not that thin. Like the card holder itself is thin, but because of the charms, it, for example, this wouldn't make my mini Gucci Di Super Mini Dionysus any more space if that makes sense but i do really like this i do really really like this Alrighty, so the next thing is prada and this i just thought was so interesting the galleria is actually the bag that my best friend really wants i mean not in these color combos but i just thought they would be interesting to talk about i did not know that scarlett johansson was the new face of prada or even maybe just this bag because you know someone can be a brand ambassador or they can just be the face of the bag it's a little bit different i mean i feel like this is fun for the summer definitely for people that like whimsical things this is giving me neapolitan vibes you know the ice cream and then i actually really like this shade of green with the blue and the cream i think that's cute as well i mean this bag is so og tumblr luxury days not even luxury youtube luxury tumblr days when people are just reposting reposting everyone had the safiana galleria like that was the bag and then the that ysl businessy bag which is basically the ysl version of this i think this is really cute especially in their pastel colors like the aqua Ugh. and the fact that it's safiana leather you know that it would be super super hard wearing the light blue too this is just such a nice size i think this is very very cute i remember how there was one point where people were saying the galleria was very outdated because it was very like 2010 but i actually really like it my best friend put me back onto it because she really wants this bag she wants it in the large unfortunately which means it's uber expensive and then the last bag that i wanted to talk about is a bag that i wasn't a fan of at all when it came out like at all i didn't understand it i thought it looked weird i thought it looked a little phallic if i really have to say and then they came out with a new one in their new summer collection oh this bracelet pouch in the raffia with the tan i just feel like the tan and the raffia look so well together and honestly the price point is not bad 1100 okay just i feel like this is so cute it's so summer it's so spring i honestly feel like i could even milk it until early fall as well which would be really nice i mean honestly i would never wear it as a bracelet pouch i would strictly wear it as a shoulder bag but the fact that you have that option is nice or it could be a catch-all for like a very very big bag but i just i don't know i really like it what do you guys like this one more than the tote i definitely feel like i could wear the tote more year round and obviously you can fit more stuff in the tote but this is very very different it's very special i definitely definitely want to try this bag on the next time i go to Luevi, so keep out for that yeah i really like it. and look this little tabby is so adorable and i've tried Luevi rafia before it's really soft it's really flexible i genuinely love it so see this would be a nice bag if you're going to like cacoon tulum maui and this is like your dinner date bag that'd be really really nice
Okay, and then lastly, we're gonna talk about the brand new Celine collection that just came out recently, okay? My essay actually gave me a little snippet of it when she tried on the Ava version of one of the things that I'm about to show you. Okay, ready? It's the new summer collection. We're gonna run through this. So this is obviously a brand new Raffia bag, which I saw on Instagram, and I think it's very unique and it's very special. I feel like I need to try this on to fully love it, but I like how different it is and it seems actually pretty snug because if this is on your shoulder obviously if you dump it somebody could steal it but it being on your shoulder i feel like this is like the quintessential special summer bag especially with the calfskin tree off in the front love that and then obviously we have like some shoes some hats again i think this bucket hat i really want to buy a bucket hat i just don't know which one to get i like that this is kind of a logo but not a logo because it's like crocheted into it but this is really cute like i could imagine lisa wearing this bag like with i mean wearing this hat with her bangs that would look really really cute and then they have this bucket bag which is adorable i just i love these sunglasses so cute and even the celine bikini with the celine hardware i always wonder because i've never purchased like designer bikinis before and i don't think i ever will but I wonder if this would tarnish the way that their jewelry tarnishes or if they have like special plating on top that it wouldn't but you guys know let me just zoom in on this bikini really quick i just want to see the triumph logo oh see how adorable is that it's a triple triumph but the only thing is like this color is very very wearable but wouldn't it be awful if this tarnished i wonder if they're gonna come out with a bag with this ver amon color because that would be really tempting Alrighty, so they obviously have new sunglasses see i feel like these sunglasses might look good on me i actually like how thin these are so i definitely definitely want to try these on i feel like for sure i'm gonna buy myself a pair of celine sunglasses for my birthday for sure even though August is late in the game. Maybe I'll buy it in June. We'll see, we'll see. I'll oh, see, this one's cute too, but I definitely do like the Triumph logo more, but this is actually really cute too. They have this little Raffia bag. Oh, see, I'm just obsessed with the Raffia. Okay, so this is what my essay posted on her story, and I loved it on her. I thought it was so cute. So it's the regular Ava, thank God, with the tan and the denim. So at first, I didn't know how I felt because it was giving me kind of like tie-dye, murky, cloudy vibes because even you can see here like the acid wash right here. Oh, well, this is a very HD photo, but do you see like the acid wash right here? At first, I didn't know how I felt about it and then seeing my essay wear it on, I actually did really like it. 1800 considering it's denim, you know, not bad. I would be mad about it if it was over 2000, then I'd be very upset. But this, I love it with the gold hardware. I think it looks great with the gold and the tan and the denim. Obviously, they have the belt, some shoes. And then I was, I've been really wanting to buy like a, a wristlet with a strap because I have a Goyard pouch that I could use as kind of a little just you know under the armpit situation but i really do want something with a wristlet i was looking at this one or the canvas one with the triumph logo because like price point wise is not bad for like an everyday wristlet that you can this could honestly fit a camera in it too which is really really convenient and a lot of things it's the the whole thing that makes it worth it is the wristlet fit and then they have this like mini little one if you're just into mini things oh my god this is so expensive twenty two hundred dollars for this i mean this is cute like it's very cute i wonder if it's because of the hardware right here wait but that's so expensive why is this so expensive i mean it's structured sure structured bags are expensive and look at the amount of detail in the weaving right here but god damn 2200 dollars oh no sorry bobskis but it's cute i'm not gonna lie to you it's very cute see my essay's favorite was actually the triumph shoulder bag with this like cloudy material i think it's really the leather trim on the inside that really did it you guys know me that i would rather just have the regular triumph shoulder but i do know the chain is super super popular and then i actually did see this bag in person it has a little mirror on the inside this is very expensive it's three thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars so basically over four thousand dollars but it's lined with leather it has a little leather job like this is more of a very eclectic like this to me is like even with this giant logo it's like a quiet luxury because it's so small and petite it's something that 
I don't know, that's a very, it's giving. It's giving wealth is all I'm saying. <laughs> and it's actually very heavy, which I did like about that. So we're just gonna run through these really quick. How do you guys feel about these like teen soft bags? I don't know if I'm the biggest fan. I think it's just because when the Dior Dijoy first came out, I was like, oh, that looks really awkward and weird that they just chopped off the top. And then after a year and a half, two years, now I actually think the Dijoy is very, very cute. But I think this is the same thing. It looks kind of awkward, but I feel like it will grow on me eventually. And maybe when I try it on. So we'll see. Maybe this will be another one of the bags that I'll try on. And then I did try this bag on in my recent vlog. See, I love that every summer they come out with a different version. I feel like this is kind of like their Dior book totes where every summer they come out with a different canvas tote still by far my favorite is the one with the yellow the one that Tamara has that one is definitely a tote bag that got away scream summer just I love the yellow I love 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 the yellow this is screaming summer to me too it's not I need it but it's cute it's cute and then they just have their basket bags their little wristlets see when i saw this one i was tempted but i know that i would be so paranoid that it would get dirty so if i were to get a wristlet i definitely would get it looks like this except it's all kind of canvas and then it has the triomphe tan which i really like and then they obviously have some hats right here i actually really like this visor it's really what made it for me was the tiny little triomphe logo right here let's just zoom in on it really quick see this is so cute 475 too expensive but very cute because like the top of the hat like their baseball caps are like four hundred dollars so this honestly is like missing like the top bit i feel like this should be like 375 a hundred dollars cheaper and then they have just some more like pretty colorful sunglasses and then these cute little bracelets i think this is way overpriced 570 oh no 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 don't you notice how so many people are coming out with like designer clips i think the most popular ones are the Miu Miu clips i see the Miu Miu clips all the time but these triumph clips are really cute I would never pay $435 for a goddamn plastic clip. However, the option is nice. The option is nice. The fact that they have a hammock sends me into oblivion of how bougie this is. <laughs> it's screaming wolf and I love it. I love it. I feel like this definitely is not a hammock that should be on a tree where it would get wet. This is kind of like those people with those giant multi-million dollar homes that they have like a covering and this is like the outside bit. That would be really cool. Honestly, this <laughs> this fan, I don't know if it's the Asian girl in me or what, but I am so tempted to buy this. But it's $600. I'm not gonna lie to you. If this fan was $300, I would have already added it to my card. But for $600, you guys know me, I'm an SLG fiend. I would rather put that money into getting like a Fendi nano baguette or something like that but this is so cute like stop it stop it I actually did really like the beach towels though like a lot a lot a lot I just feel like that's so fun it's so fun and the color scheme is just really nice really really nice are any of you guys getting any of these kind of seasonal summer things let me know alrighty guys so that is it for today's virtual shopping what are your favorite things that i've mentioned have you guys bought anything from anything that i mentioned that bracelet pouch is really calling my name what would you guys rather have that bracelet pouch in the raffia or the lueve shopping tote see i generally feel like the shopping tote i would get more use out of however <laughs> that bracelet pouch is so special and it's like so unique and it's just so cylindrical that i really really like it but we'll see probably the next thing that i want to buy is either the fendi nano baguette bag that i've mentioned previously or a pair of celine sunglasses so yeah as always if you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys